pray that uh, Good evening. Oh, I'll call right. this Ball. meeting of the Carswell City Council yeah. to order. Yeah. Please stand for invocation of pledge. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Mr. McClung, your seven o'clock alarm is just set. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the City Council meeting. Let us bow our heads while I pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, once again, we assemble ourselves in the Chamber of Government to do the business of the city. We ask for your guidance and your direction and your tender mercy and tender grace that we do things as pleasing in your eye, and we'll be so grateful. We ask these blessings and our blessings in your Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ms. Drake, the roll, please. Carrie Hodge, Ward 1. I forgot I was supposed to. Jay Stepp, Ward 2. I'm over here. Carrie Roth, Ward 3. Calvin Cooley, Ward 4. Here. Gary Fox, Ward 5. Taff Wren, Ward 6. Here. Thank you, Julia. And again, we're without Carrie, Carrie, and Gary. That is correct. But uh, they let us know well in advance, and I think we've got it all under control. Okay, Carrie, Gary. We'll find out here in just a moment. Uh, the first order of business council is the approval of our meeting minutes from July the 6th. You've had an opportunity to review those minutes, and now would be an opportunity to either amend them or to approve them. And if you'd like to approve them uh, or make an amendment, a motion's in order. My motion approved. Second. All in favor to get by saying aye. 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 I'll vote the affirmative as well, and the minutes are approved. And Mayor, just as a reminder to the members of the council, since there are only four of you present tonight, it does take all four of you to approve any item. If any of you abstain or do not vote, that item is not approved. Thank we'll you for that. that. It's uh, not Mr. approved. Mr. Porter, you have the um, first item this evening. Yeah. Uh, yes, Mayor. This is an extension of moratorium for Carter Grove subdivision. I'm asking it to be done in emergency reading. Uh, the council previously had done this back in December of last year to have the moratorium through July 31st. I've uh, been working with Bartow County Water to determine when that contract for when that water line is going to be done. Initially supposed to be done by uh, end of June, then July 20th. Well, that's uh, not going to be done now until we're told uh, end of August, early September. So my request to, is to pass this extension moratorium through December 31st of this calendar year. Uh, of course, if they get the project done sooner than that, uh, the council can lift the moratorium, but that's my recommendation. Thank you, and we certainly would anticipate it being done before that so we can look forward. I know that there's uh, builders and families that are looking to get out there that probably were expecting this well, they weren't expecting the extension of this moratorium, so uh, we understand that there are perhaps some economic hardships or some discomfort that's going to come with extending this moratorium. However, um, you know, public safety is, uh, I think it needs to take precedence over this, so I appreciate um, your diligence in, in getting answers, uh, even though we didn't get the answer that we had hoped for. Yes, sir. And uh, so uh, now is an opportunity for further discussion, if not, a motion's in order. Mr. approve. Second. Second. All in favor of Kate by saying aye. Aye. And I'll vote in the affirmative as well. That motion carries unanimously. Uh, Mr. Forsyth, you've <clears throat> got uh, the next item, please, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Mayor and Council. Uh, this is the annual uh, contract for water quality sampling by the EPD uh, State Water Laboratory. Um, they have performed a service for us for many years. Uh, they did actually go up on price this year. They'd held the price steady uh, for the past eight years. Uh, this year they've gone up to $10,120. Uh, that's still less expensive than commercial laboratories that would use for the same services. Uh, and this contract goes through June 30th of next year. It is a budget expense I recommend for your approval. Thank you. Are there any questions or discussion? If there's none, a motion is in order. That's to approve. Second. All in favor of Cape is saying aye. 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 And I'll vote in the affirmative as well. The, uh, Mr. Hampton, you have the next several, sir. Uh, first is a distribution generation agreement for 11 Autumn Canyon Path. Yes, sir, uh, Mayor and Council. First item, uh, the distributed generation agreement for 11, 11 Autumn Canyon Path is a standard uh, agreement for when anyone installs generation on our system. Uh, it protects us in the, in the event that there's a uh, backfeeding onto the system, which put our guys at risk. and 
um, make sure everything is up to code and, and uh, it also covers the, uh, the agreement for any buyback of, of uh, surplus energy. Uh, it's been uh, reviewed by uh, legal and we do request your approval for you to sign it. Thank you, any discussion? And if there's none of motions in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor and keep it saying aye. 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 And I'll vote for it as well. Motion Thank carries you. unanimously. Uh, now same distribution agreement type for Noble and Maine. Yes, sir. Same deal for Noble and Maine. They're in the uh, solar system on their business over there. And it's the exact same agreement as the one for Autumn Canyon Path. It covers the exact same uh, language. And again, I'll ask for any discussion or motion. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor to keep by saying aye. 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 And again, I'll vote in the affirmative, and if it carries four to nothing, continue on, please. All right, thank you. Uh, the next item, the third amendment to the solar power purchase contract. Uh, we know we've had a few amendments come through. This is actually a little different than the other ones. It does not cover pricing. This is actually uh, allowing us to take ownership of some generation where another city dropped out of the solar project. So this got us some additional capacity. It's been uh, reviewed by Keith. Uh, and we do recommend your approval. Thank you. Is there any discussion on this item? And if there's none, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor of Kate, but saying aye. 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 And I'll vote for it. Motion carries unanimously. Your final Thank one, you. I believe. Yes, sir. That's it for yep. me. Uh, <laughs> next one is the uh, Ever Famous MV90 software. Uh, last time we were here for the to pay for the upgrade. Uh, now we're actually here for the annual maintenance renewal for the software to work. Uh, it is a budgeted expense for the amount of $15,599.99, and we do request your approval, your authorization. Thank you. Questions, comments, or motions? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor, get by saying aye. 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 And I'll vote for it as well. Motion carries right. unanimously. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Chief Carter, you're up. There's nothing to stop that last one. Okay. Good evening, Mayor and <coughs> Council. Come before you tonight respectfully requesting approval for Croft and Associates their design engineer and the architect uh, for our future fire station five on carter grove this particular agreement is to complete a topographical survey for that site in the amount of fourteen thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars we're also asking for the mayor to have the authority to execute any agreements necessary for this proposal. thank you chief any discussion if not a motion's in order that's to approve Second. All in favor, get me saying aye. 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 I'll vote for it as well. Passes unanimously. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Porter, you got the next item? Yes, sir. The, actually, the, how do we, how do we system revision? I'm sorry, sir. Yes, sir. This is basically GDOT's asking the mayor to sign a letter of the city clerk. They are doing some road improvements on Highway 20 and putting that in our system. Uh, the commissioner already signed this as well, so this is recommended for your approval. Thank you. Any discussion? And if there's none, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. I need a second. Second. Oh, oh didn't okay. hear the Thank second. You. Sorry. All in favor to keep saying aye. Aye. And I'll vote for it as well. Motion carries unanimously. Uh, Mr. Fryer, you're up. Good evening, Mayor. Good evening, Council. Good evening. Uh, this gas system recommends council approval of this resolution to enter into a contract agreement between the city and the gas authority for the management of the gas system's natural gas supply gas system has been contracted with southeast gas acquisition supply association uh, for the past 16 years since 2007 uh, with the addition of sk battery and a single extremely large firm industrial customer and numerous other firm customers we've added to the system. Uh, it's become necessary for the gas system to seek the expertise of a natural gas supply manager that has access to natural gas supplies within a consortium of members sharing its natural gas supplies. Uh, Municipal Gas Authority of Georgia, also known as the Gas Authority, is such an agency who serves 79 members in Georgia, Alabama, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, and Florida. Uh, the gas system has been a member of the Gas Authority Subscribe Regulatory Compliance Service for the past eight years. Uh, we are confident that the Gas Authority can be a similar asset in managing the gas system's natural gas supply, especially following the retirement of Michael Dixon and myself in the next 10 years. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to Josh Stoll, uh, Regional Manager of the Gas Authority. If you have further questions, I'd just like to make that introduction. 
Thank you. Any questions from council? You'll be approving a resolution and the contracts that are attached. Thank you. And uh, those of you that have a paper copy of that, this is items 10 and 11 rolled into one. Dan, did you have a comment? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Again, what I said in the work session, <coughs> Brian and Michael have done a tremendous job on this, working through this process. This is really a benefit for the city and for the gas authority and for us going forward, as Brian alluded to. This is a lot of technical detail going through every day, every month when we buy new natural gas. So I appreciate all the hard work. It's just going to allow us to continue on in this business that we've been in since 1954, I think it is, yes. something like that. So yes. that's, uh, I appreciate this, and I hope for the vote and affirmative. Thank you. Chair will entertain a motion. Motion to approve uh, the resolution and the um, contract. tax contract. Tax contract. Second. All in favor to get the saying aye. Aye. I'll vote for it as well. Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, Brian. You. Uh, Mr. Morgan, you have the next few. Uh, yes, sir. I wanted to ask permission to move forward with a contract with Geo Hydro uh, to do the uh, subsurface exploration at the new uh, site for sub, uh, fire station number five. Uh, those are the points that we'll be doing the, the exploration on and getting that ready for as we look to move forward with. Uh, the contract to build a facility there. We're asking for your approval with that for this contract with Geo Hydro. Okay, thank you. Questions, comments, or motions? <clears throat> Motion to approve. Second. All in favor, keep it saying aye. 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 And I'll vote for it. Motion carries unanimously. Next item, please, Freddie. Yes, sir. This is a, a quarterly invoice from Siegel Marco, our, our current advisors. <laughs> it is for the amount of 18000 uh, I'm asking for your approval to pay this invoice to uh, Siegel Marco advisors. It is paid out of the pension fund. <clears throat> Thank you for that. Questions, comments, or motions? Motion to approve the contract. Second. All in favor of the say aye. 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 Say aye. You for it? Sorry. Okay. We got it. I'll vote for it as well. <laughs> Sorry, we're interrupting whatever it is you're doing over there. <laughs> so we need all four, don't we? Yes, yeah, we do. <laughs> aye. Thank you. And I'll vote for it as well. That makes four. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the next item is a ventilation fan replacement. It allows us to provide uh, uh, extra cooling or better cooling in an unconditioned space, but it also pulls out the vehicle exhaust. And we're asking your permission to move forward with the work at that at our garage facility in the amount of $13,855. Thank you. Any discussion? If not, a motion. Motion, motion approved. Second. All in favor, keep saying aye. Aye. The motion carries unanimously along with my vote. So okay. that's it. Thank you all so Thank much. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Porter, go ahead. Yes, sir. Annual membership in the Northwest Georgia Regional Commission. This is an annual membership we have with them. They provide some service to us at a uh, cost of $23,904. I recommend this for your approval. Thank you. Questions, comments, or motions? Motion approved. Second. All in favor, keep it saying aye. 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 I'll vote in the affirmative. Passes four to nothing. But as Chief McCann makes his way up, I will, uh, Chair will entertain a motion to add three items to the so agenda. Moved. So moved. Second. All in favor, and keep it saying aye. 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 I'll vote for it. Three items added. Go ahead, Chief. Thank you. Um, basically, I'm requesting approval to purchase Clearview AI, which is a database that uses facial recognition while conducting criminal investigations. Uh, we currently don't have that type of software, <coughs> um, and we've <coughs> used it for about a month, and we've been able to uh, solve several criminal investigations based on that. Uh, the initial cost is $17,894, and after that, the yearly subscription will be $17,894. It's a budgeted item, and we'll be using federal asset forfeiture funds to pay for it. Thank you. Questions for Chief on this item? If there so, curiosity, what's its uh, uh, um, error rate? You know, I don't know. Um, Cobb County's been using it for about a year. Uh, basically, along with this software, we have written policy where each case has to be cooperated with independent information to make sure that the software doesn't uh, say that somebody uh, basically is the person when it's not. So uh, there's, I think, seven, eight pages worth of policy that were written. 
and there, once it's approved, it'll go out to uh, every officer in the department. However, every officer in the department is not going to have access to this software. Basically, the criminal investigators will, uh, command staff will, and that's pretty much it. But uh, it's it's pretty impressive uh, what we've seen so far. So it's not like they're going to use the software. Part of the exclusively the only yeah. piece of Absolutely not. Gotcha. Yeah. Pretty much all I need to know. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Any other discussion or questions? If not, a motion is in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor of the gate saying aye. 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 I'll vote for it. So the motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you. Continue on, Chief. You've got that first added item, please, sir. Yes, sir. This is a request to pay utility associates in incorporated which is a company we use for our in-car cameras and our body cameras uh, is for support, maintenance, and cloud storage. Uh, it's a budgeted item that will be paid for uh, initially the general fund, 66580111 and splosh, 28734.89. Thank you. Questions, comments, or motions? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor, give me saying aye. 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 I'll vote the affirmative. Motion carries unanimously. Thank, Thank you, Chief. Uh, Mr. Lovell, you have the last two items, please, sir. Thank you, Mayor. The first one is a uh, resolution authorizing the city attorney's office and the police department to file a request with the Bartow County Superior Court to allow for us to dispose of baby formula that was seized as a result of an arrest and investigation by the police department and to dispose of that by giving it to a local charity, the advocates for them to um, distribute as needed in the community. Um, uh, we contacted the stores that were, or distributors that were involved that owned the actual baby formula, and all of them <coughs> have submitted letters in support of us donating it to the charities and do not wish us to return it to them. It is recommended by staff for your approval. Thank you. Any discussion? I have one question. There's no way we can face a lawsuit of contaminated milk or anything like that? Uh, no. My, our understanding from the baby formula is that it is good like up to, was it six or 12 months? It, it's got an expiration. Good. It expires in October. In October, yes. So we're going, so we're going, we're going to distribute the, the We're going to distribute it before its expiration date and to people who will be using it immediately before then. They just like you getting it from the store and you use it before your expiration date. Any other questions or discussion? If not, a motion's in order. Motion approved. Second. All in favor of the gate, saying aye. 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 And I'll vote for it as well. Motion carries unanimously. And the final item, Mr. Lovell. The next item is, as council is aware, y'all were supposed to have um, reviewed the conceptual plan for the 178 West Main Street property at tonight's meeting but since several council members were absent and we wanted everybody to have input into it we contacted the uh pr prospective purchaser walmack brothers llc and asked them if they would uh, agree to extend that time period for us to august 4th so y'all could review that plan at your next council meeting they they have agreed to do that so we're uh, proposing a second amendment to the purchase contract to allow that to be done it is recommended by staff for your approval. Okay, thank you. Any questions on this item or discussion? And if not, a motion's in order. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor of the saying aye. 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 And the motion carries unanimously with my vote. Those are all the items on the agenda. Uh, it's now time for the finance report. Honorable Mayor and Council, we will be looking at the May 2023 and comparing it to May 2022. And the general fund revenues increased over last year by two point, I'm sorry, by seven point seven million dollars, while the expenses increased by two point seven million dollars. Two areas of revenue I look at monthly local office sales tax increased there of about one point eight million dollars. Building permits and inspection fees have been increased there of about three hundred and three thousand three hundred and three thousand dollars. The water and sewer fund revenues increased over the last May by $5.3 million. Expenses increased by $2.2 million due to increased in personnel expenses, increased operating expenses, decreased debt services expenses, increased capital expenses, and increased transfers to the general fund. 
In the gas fund, revenues increased over last year by $7.7 million. Expenses increased by $5.7 million. This is due to increased personnel expenses, increased operating expenses, increased cost of purchase gas, decreased debt service expense, increased capital expenses, and increases to the uh, increases in the transfers to the general fund. In the electric fund, revenues increased over last year by $3.1 million. Expenses increased by $3.8 million due to increased personnel costs, increased operating expenses, increased cost of purchase of electricity, increased capital expenses, and increased transfers to the general fund. Stormwater fund, revenues increased over last May by $51,000. Expenses increased by $35,000 due to increased personnel expenses, decreased operating expenses, and increased capital expenses. Solid waste fund, revenues increased over last year by $446,000, while the expenses increased by $36,000 due to increased personnel expenses, increased operating expenses, and decreased capital expenses. And finally, in the fiber optics fund, revenues increased over last May by $1.1 million. Expenses uh, increased by $177,000 due to increased personnel expenses, increased operating expenses, decreased debt service expenses, and increased transfers to the general fund. In the CAS uh, position for the month of May, total unrestricted CAS balances increased while the total restricted CAS balances decreased. Sparse account balances, SPAS 2003 has a balance of 60,313.70. SPAS 2014 balance 231,991.10. And SPAS 2020 is $10,045,783.77. Mr. Mayor, as Tom alluded to, I mean, the financials are in very good shape 11 months into the fiscal year. I appreciate all the hard work Tom and his staff does every month. Absolutely, I concur. Any other questions or comments about the financial report? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any other business that needs to come for council this evening? I will uh, only add that to earlier this week, our <coughs> community was, uh, there, we got another company coming as uh, we continue to draw uh, quality manufacturing <clears throat> to our community. I want to welcome uh, Yakult to our family of industries. They are a Japanese probiotic uh, drink company. Uh, we appreciate their $305 million investment. They'll be occupying, hopefully purchasing 53 acres roughly at uh, Highland 75 Industrial Park. That's correct. And um, certainly transaction through the JDA. It's on the county side of the park, but as I think our community has been a pretty good example of uh, a rising tide lifts all the boats and uh, so it doesn't really matter if they're inside the city limits or not there's a lot of people that are going to benefit from their presence here and it takes an awful lot of work this has been at least about a year and a half and uh, Mr. Lovell I know that uh, you've put an awful lot of time and effort into getting these transactions done we've had a, a busy year or have, so I and uh, I want to I want to recognize uh, your efforts and the efforts of the JDA staff and the, the board and their volunteers uh, for their leadership and diligence, and that certainly includes you as a, a key part of that team. So thank you for all your work in making that happen. Thank you, sir. Anything else? By the way, the Tokyo Yakult Swallows is their professional baseball team. So if you follow Japanese baseball, that's uh, may, may have a, I'm sure everybody here has a new favorite Japanese baseball team. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Chair will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Stay gold. Go Swallows. Good job. <clears throat> like O'Shea.